So in my practice of astrology, I have categorized for understanding and for ease the science into two parts. So as you know, it is a study of time. The time when you are born, what it holds for you, that manifests in your life. So there are two things into it. Quality of time influences over time. Influences over time is your horoscope that indicates influences over the ascendant that represents the time of your birth. Another thing is the quality of time. And quality, as you understand, right, the quality of time is equal to the quality of life. So for this particular reason, because Panchang indicates the quality of time, Panchang becomes very important. And it is important in everything that comes in the domain of astrology. The most important event of one's life is marriage, of course. Right, so Panchang is very important in the matters of marriage also. In this video, I will talk about the first element of Panchang, that is Tithi. So there are 15 Tithis in total. Pratipada, Ditiya, Tritiya, Chaturthi, Panchami, Shashti, Saptami, Ashtami, Navami, Dashmi, Ekadashi, Dvadashi, Triyodashi, Chaturdashi. This repeats in Shukla Paksh and Krishna Paksh, both. And the last Tithi, which is the 15th Tithi, is Purnima. The counterpart of it is 30th Tithi, that is Amavasya. So based on the Tithi you are born in, there is a particular trait. As I told you, na, quality. So you take something, you understand its quality. Rather, horoscope is something that you are blessed with. So you have to understand the quality and complement with the quality if you want a good life. So these Tithis, basically the first division under this Tithi is also the division of Tithi into five sections of Nanda, Bhadra, Jaya, Rikta and Purna. In this, the first tithi, the sixth tithi, and the eleventh tithi of Sukla Paksh, Krishna Paksh, both is Nanda. Nanda means happiness. People born in Nanda tithi generally may have problem in finding the happiness related to relationship. For that, they will have to patiently wait. Good result will come, the result will be very good. But proper wait is needed. So you say before the age of 25-26, a good quality relationship is somehow difficult, but after the age of 25-26, good quality relationship will be there. Now Nanda people primarily see when it is a relationship, you have two approach. Eradication of negativity, enhancement of positivity. Nanda people have to particularly focus on enhancement of positivity. So what they should do, they should not think of their weakness, they should think of their strength. And they should think how we can increase it more. These people, because Nanda indicates a seeking happiness together. So people born in Nanda Tithi, maybe your spouse is born in some other Tithi, that is all fine. But if you are born into Nanda Tithi, enjoyment as a couple should be your prime purpose. And you should take out time once a month for enjoyment, going to some secluded place, going for a dinner or anything as such. That will greatly enhance the quality of your marital life. Do it once and you will find how it is going, how it is impacting you. That will be very miraculous. No remedy and nothing in this world <coughs> will give you that. That this particular seeking happiness together will give you. So here my prime advice is find what your spouse like. Or liked before marriage, now they cannot do or something that they wanted to do before but could not do because of family or anything else. And try to do those things together. Right? Find what you each other like and do these things together is my advice for Nanda people. Now next is Bhadra, 2nd, 7th and 12th Tithi. Now Bhadra basically means auspicious but Bhadra is a demoness that tries to destroy the auspiciousness. So Mangalakari becomes a Mangalakari. <coughs> so here in the approach of Bhadra, the approach of Bhadra should be that you list out all the factors that is negative and eradicate it. Eradication of negativity is the point. Here you should take your life, find those areas that is dist disturbing you and trying to try to eradicate it. See, I am not telling you to not have friends or not listen to your family. Right? That is not the case. But think that if friend circle is intriguing a lot in your marriage, you have to keep them at a bay. You have to find your personal space. So protecting each other from miseries. Here... What I am, I am also telling you to be a strict spouse, you know. 
because in this scenario you can have a spouse who is not very much conscious about themselves so you have to be to be that strict parent kind of a person who stops them from doing things right so negativity can come and your prime duty your prime purpose should be the eradication of that particular negativity find which things are creating issue ignoring them that is for nanda people right that is for nanda people for bhadra people you cannot ignore negativity but you have to troubleshoot them one by one this is what will give you a good relationship next comes jaya people people born on third tithi eighth tithi and 13th tithi see jaya means victory so right now here <coughs> pushing your limits there are some limits that you may have had in your life first of all what i have seen with jaya people is a complete makeover after marriage so maybe the person can be an uh, altogether different person before marriage and after marriage they change themselves completely to suit their spouse that is very good for jaya people other than that what needs to be done for jaya people is pushing their boundaries this is the run for being victorious this is the run for being alpha that's so alpha male alpha female it is a run to become that the jaya part right so in jaya tithi what you have to do is try to become a better version of yourself for your spouse this will give happiness so in jaya this should not be the statement that i have never done this how can i do this no going it experimenting it pushing your limits and doing it is what jaya people should do the next thing is rikta fourth ninth and 14th tithi of shukla paksh or krishna paksh if you are born into it you are born into rikta now rikta is emptiness <clears throat> so generally in such relationships what happens it is not complete something or the other thing is missing in generally in such scenarios what happens the event of marriage is generally surrounded by some negative events you can say death of someone or loss of job or anything like that so generally the starting one two years of marriage goes into coping up with this which is sometime difficult right rikta generally gives emptiness so in the matters of rikta spending maximum time together trying to understand each other mentally consoling each other mentally supporting each other is the thing that they should be doing rikta people in this also right now here in rikta you have to be the mental support mentor guide friend philosopher guide is there no that philosopher and guide you have to become in the rikta part ignoring the negativity should also be there and along with ignoring the negativity trying to fulfill that particular role for the spouse that they that may not be there in their life or that they may have lost is what is needed right so if your spouse have lost a job somehow in rikta after marriage then it is a very great chance that both of you start thinking together that what is that thing that we can do together maybe it can be a business or a new venture and generally when you do it this way these people i have seen becoming very successful so you know this is the prime purpose of astrology to find the negative part and convert it into positive right generally people think that if i have a bad combination i cannot do anything in life people become sad that is the wrong approach you have a bad combination you understand that combination if there is a weakness you understand that weakness and you can convert it into strength the first thing needed is understanding second thing will be conversion understand the stuff converted people with bad combination become most successful they understand the bad combination they avoid it they repair it and they become extremely successful another point is people born into panchami dashami of shukla paksh or krishna paksh or born on amavasya or purnima these people are born in purna tithi generally these are the blessed people who have almost everything in life their purpose should be now you know what when you have everything when you are blessed with everything it is very common that you know the coming of spouse is just yet another event in your life and out of everything that you are busy in maybe that spousal relationship is somewhere lost you know you are already too busy there are already everything so there is nothing to achieve together kind of stuff you know this is the problem that comes with when everything is perfect so here what is needed is that despite you don't know like you know you don't need anyone right the life is ever perfect 
but even in that area making a space for your spouse fitting your spouse into it and then enjoying things together is for the purna people so purna people have to make new challenges for themselves and then go on together to do that stuff you know it is that it it is a child kind of a case a child who is blessed with everything right have friends also good family also and everything is there but you know generally good parents what they do when their children become young right you know when they cross 16 17 years of age no despite the fact that they have everything their parents send them to go find a new job you know get some experience though there is no need of getting a job they are already blessed by family but still this exercise is done to make them realize the importance of these things so in purna cases you know everything is there money happiness everything is there but still in that scenario you have to find things that you people can do together should be doing together make a new activity do that together that will lead you to fulfillment and happiness in relationship so find your tithi and do the thing that you should be doing tell your spouse about their tithi and tell them the thing they should be doing and then your marital life or your relationship will be a happy one for which you will be proud that's what i want